Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at chartforks.org, which is a free aviation chart application, which is really useful if you're looking, for example, for a way to taxi from your, uh, let's say, gate to the runway, or if you want to know the standard instrumental departure route or the standard terminal approach route. Those are all, I would say, included in this free solution, which is really cool. And the way it works is you need a VATSIM account for it, but that one can be created for free. So you need to go to VATSIM.com and there you can create the account. And uh, once you've done that, you can also use it to log in to uh, chartfox.org. It works really easy. Uh, you type in the uh, ICAO code from the airport. In this case, a Rotterdam airport. I press load. It says, hey, it's only for educational flight simulation, right? You can't use it for real uh, navigation for real aircraft. If you're flying a real aircraft, so simply say agree. Then it says, okay, hey, welcome to the chart. And it gives you a short explanation. And then we can press okay. Uh, since it's free, it's offering you a possibility to, to donate some money to them. It will cost them roughly 10 uh, pounds a month to uh, host the website for a year. So Ronsa or per month three roughly 120 pounds per year so if you want to help them then you can donate them some money so they can uh, offer this free service uh, to you and to the other simmers so once it loads the map uh, you can see that there are a few tabs you've got uh, gen which stands for generic and uh, will give you an overview of the chart uh, and you can click on it and then it will load uh, Again, if you want to zoom into it, you can either zoom uh, using the button, pressing the control button of your uh, keyboard and then using your mouse cursor, or you can expand it and then uh, open it in a new window. But then again, you need to zoom in, which shows you uh, some information about the runways, right? So runway uh, 06, 24, and shows you the uh, generic information. So here's 06, here's 04, and then we've got v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 which are the access points to uh, access the runways uh, in addition to that uh, there are is a lot of additional information so let me close this pdf there's the hc uh, surveillance minimum l2 chart it sometimes takes some uh, time to load it if it can't load it you will always get the option to go directly to it and you can right click on it and then go directly to it then it will load the map here and what you saw here is that they are really smart because they're picking up the uh, maps from I would say trusted sources in this case it's the uh, authority which is responsible for uh, air, for the navigation and the, the let's say the airspace uh, within the Netherlands so that will show you uh, this map besides that we've got the taxi routes and the taxi routes are uh, divided uh, in the aerodome chart and the aerodome chart, uh, ground movement charts, and then the taxi routes for specific uh, runways. So in this case, the specific uh, taxi route to runway 06, which is here, is um, this route, right? It's uh, shown on the uh, red. It's used by the ATC servers. And you also see the stop bars where they are, so that those are the hold lines, right, where you need to hold. And also access if there are certain points or parts of the airport which you can't use uh, the same thing is applicable for runway 24 right you can see it below runway 06 sorry <laughs> looks like this map or this uh, link is incorrect because it still points to runway uh, 06 uh, so that's cool mm. maybe it's more error but hey it's free server so we shouldn't complain then we've got the aircraft parking and docking chart, which shows you all the parking spots and docking charge or docking spaces which are available at the airport. So you know, okay, hey, for example, if the HC instructs you to go to A1, you know, hey, A1 is here. Or if they instruct you to go to D3, you know that D3 is here. Cool. Then we've got the SIDs, stars, and approaches. So the SIDs are divided per runway, as you can see, the runway 
24, 06, and then the all runways. So let's say that we're uh, departing from one way 24, and we want to uh, depart in east direction. Then it will contain all the waypoints which you need to visit to do the east departure. The same thing, is, of course, is applicable to the west departure. Then it also shows you multiple options in this case. All kind of cool things. And then you've got the standard instrumental departure for all runways. So that's, I would say, a combination of both these charts. Then you've got the standard arrival chart. And the standard arrival chart uh, contains all the routes which you can take to arrive at the airport, including holding patterns, right? In some cases, if it's very busy at the airport, you are assigned a holding pattern. In this case, flight level 050. For one minute, you need to fly this holding pattern if you're being instructed by the ATC. And you can see another one here, another one here, right? So there's all kind of cool information. This is where the um, star route starts and then it will follow the lines here and eventually it will bring you to the airport, right? That's the star route because the star route is used prior to using the approach and that's what's listed on the approach tab. On the approach tab, you've got the different approach times which you have per runway again. So you've got the ILS and localized approaches, you've got the RMP, the VOR and also the VFR procedures, right? So if I, for example, want to uh, use the instrumental approach uh, for using localizer or three, I want to use the ILS approach or localizer for runway 06, then this is the approach I should take, right? So it, it contains really detailed information about the uh, approach you need to take. And the same thing is applicable to both runway 24 uh, and that's uh, ILS uh, Yankee and ILS Zulu. Then we've got the RMPs, right? So the RMPs also listed nicely. And of course, when we scroll down, we also have got the VO VOR approaches, right? So the VOR approaches, these are the three approaches which we can take to at least make sure that we're landing successfully on runway 06. Then as last point, we've got the VFR route, right? So we've got the IFR route, right? Which is used for uh, instrumental flights and the VFR for visual flights. So these can be used if you fly VFR. So if you're flying VFR, then you can use these maps to make sure that you're finding the correct approach and land successfully on an airport. In some cases, you will find the VFR uh, traffic circuits radio equipped. Uh, if it does not load again, you need to load it up here and we'll show you some information. Uh, for example, the AMSL uh, and also the VHF comm station, orange colored, uh, Doppler VDF, right? It contains some information. Again, really useful if you want to use this uh, tool to find either an approach or an instrumental departure, or a taxi route, or even generic information. So this tool combines all these sources together in one tool, and it can be, I would say, customized a bit, right? For example, you can open it in, a, let's say, normal mode or in dark mode, and you can simply uh, find some new information here, right? So if you, for example, want to uh, visit Amsterdam, then you're providing the account code and then press load. And then it will load the new information for the runway you just selected. Oh, let me press clear here. In some case, you see that the chart's not loading, but again, you have got the option here to load the map directly using this button, right? Here you see it working. So all kind of cool information which you can use, I would say, in Flight Simulator 2020. But of course, you can also uh, use them in other Flight Simulator options, not only Flight Simulator 2020, but also the other solutions. Uh, here ends this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.